Man, I'm getting good at that. Who's ready for more Origami King? I know I am, but I'm not sure my switches or any sort of my technology because as I said earlier, the last time I streamed this and I ended, like the two minutes after I ended and I closed OBS, my computer blue screened on me. Which was really bizarre. <laughs> and it was just so, you know, it was a one on time occurrence. It didn't happen the last time I streamed yesterday. It didn't, I don't think it'll happen today. But the technical things don't just stop. The technical things don't stop with Origami King because. You good, man? Okay. Because you see, as I was putting in the game cartridge to stream this today, I got this. I got a game cart could not be read. Please remove and reinsert. This is the first time I've ever gotten this in my Switch. And of course, of course, it would be for Origami King. How's this for a thumbnail? If that is one of the auto-generated thumbnails on YouTube, I will use it. And I will not explain. <laughs> Y'all are just gonna have to deal with it. So last time, now that we're actually back to the game, we went and finished Yellow Streamer. Oh, uh, why don't I wait here for you? I'm really more comfortable in the desert. I think we still have a couple more things to do here, so maybe I should... Yeah, I'll go back to Shroom City or whatever it's called first. But we finished the Yellow Streamer, got all that done. So the sun's back in the desert, so now it's just a regular old World 2 desert. Except this World 3, but you get my point. Ah, you're back, shall we? Although surprisingly, it still has the same music. I thought they would, for when the sun came back, make it a little more upbeat, but no, it's just the same. And that's fine. Nothing wrong with that. Okay, well, the song's a little different here. That's pretty nice. Let me just... There we go. Thank you. Oh, hey, they got a toad here now. Toads and Sniffets chill in together. You'll love to see it. How's it going, you two? See, sawing is fun. See, sawing is fun. Oh, I'm glad they... I'm glad the Sniffet was able to work something out there. Ugh. I moved here for the climate back when the sun was gone. You still have that one accessory, right? Yeah, hidden block alert. Uh, I don't need that, right? No. They've been here the whole toad time. <sighs> it's almost recycling day. Nice. Another cafe? Well, why don't I? I'll just wait here. Uh, of course you do. Is this one gonna have toads in it or sniffets? I wonder. Oh! <laughs> the, ma the mariachi shy guy as the barista and then... The piranha plant fellow and the, the dinosaur dudes from Mario World. That's an interesting. Shy oh my and hi hi hi. What'll it be, amigo? A sombrero blend for 100 coins, please. Thank you. Shy oh my, we're, we're the singing cafe. We love to jam, so let's party. Oh yeah, come on.
coffee and the show. Love it. I'll leave. Fun spot. It's nice how it fully heals you when you do that, despite not really being... Despite already being in a town with a bench. I guess it's just for the consistency of it. I feel like the only time it really helped me with healing was back in the Water Elemental Temple. Oh great, there's toads everywhere, so we have to go into every room just for more dialogue. I can hear your voice on my side of the room again. This guy was just here when I got back, so we live together now. Yeah, the Sniffins came in and pretty much took over. But to be honest, we weren't really doing much with the place anyway. These toads aren't so bad, I guess. They've accepted our snivity, snivetly ways. Welcome to Shroom City, previously known as Sniff City, previously known as Shroom City. Yeah. You got anything for me? The sun is out, and all the toads are back in Shroom City. Plus, like, a hundred Sniffets, I guess. Oh, you guys found each other. And now you're parading around your weird hats. Good for you. Well, I'm glad he's supportive. It's, it's also nice around here, you know? There's a lot less clutter. It's much easier to move around, do stuff. I heard that a bunch of toads went to a dance party in the crypt and had their faces punched out. How come I didn't get invited? It's good to be back. And to have my face back. Wow, is it weird that I said the face part second? Not necessarily. Depends how much you like your face. Sometimes I like my face. Sometimes I don't. Depends on the day. Depends on the mood. The hour. The lighting. The position. Everything, really. But usually it's positive. Not in a gloaty way, just in a... You know. In a nice way. There's something funny about the grass here, but I'm too sleepy to investigate. I mean, can you really tell what's fake and what's not in this world? It's all paper. It's all cardboard. Who cares? Astro turf is the same as grass. Who cares? Wait, are you telling me that the stall with the giant lamp on top didn't even sell lamps? Well, Shroom City is really bustling now. Wait, sorry. Sniff City. Wait, I've got it. Shroom City. So what's this, is this place still the game? Can you believe this merchant stall was vacant and filled with some really weird old lamps? I figured I'd take over the business. Now it all to you for saving me back in the ruins. Here, take this. Lamp scam. <laughs> Putting it bluntly. Well, it was good while it lasted, but now I'm out of lamps, so I guess I'll shut down. <laughs> you had one lamp. All right, all right, thank you. He had one lamp and he didn't even sell it. He gave it to us because we, we saved him. Too kind, too kind. Wait, did I talk to you? Yeah. It doesn't have to be a place for selling lamps. It could be genie advice. It was my idea to keep the lights on during the daytime. It's totally worth it, right? I guess, a little? Cause if there's strong enough lights that they actually can be seen, I guess? Welcome, Mario. Oh, hey, Mario. Who 
could have known that this entire town and luxury hotel was occupied before we got here. Ah, but now that the toads are back, we're okay with sharing the space with them. That's the spirit. Unity. <laughs> this place is still surprisingly empty. The DJ is not even here. Wait, would this be the DJ's place? Because, I mean, these are all CDs. And I like the cassettes on the rug, too. That's a nice touch. Oh, item shop. Nothing I need, but nice. Actually, what are my weapons like right now? Because I feel like I use a lot of them in the temple. Probably fine. But just in case, I have four. Okay, I'll, I'll get one flashy iron boot. Just one. There's not too much combat in this game, so I don't really worry too much about the durability of weapons. I feel like it's spaced out well enough that you don't have to have a lot of them, and you don't, you don't really, okay. It's spaced out that you don't really need a lot of them. You can only have like two or three, and you're like, I'll probably set for a decent amount of time. I can work with this. I have options. All right, right I gotta go in the hotel. Like, at worst, the, the, the combat of this game is just kind of there. Not in the way, but kind of there. And at best, it's pretty fun. At least in terms of the average combat. The boss fights, I think, are top-notch. Real, real good stuff. The rhythm got me. You feeling it, Mario? Woo -woo. Do you think there's room for three? Ooh, a threesome. Mm -hmm. This guy! My new lounge chair buddy is such a character. I've been waiting for someone to share this lounger with me. I'm a sorry for your loss. It's great to be back home. Yes, I live in this hotel. What of it? Don't worry, I'm laminated. <laughs> Can't talk. Dancing. Hey, it's the DJ dude. Yo, yo, yo! Good to see you again, my man. Hit me with a request. Oh, we get all the songs and then Temple of Shrooms UG? Oh, I think this is the first one he was doing. Which is the one that was... Yeah. Do pool party. That's more like it. That that feels right. Well, he's got all the sound discs back. I'm never gonna get to play that set, am I? Did you hear that? The sketchy lamp shop? Uh. You good, man? Having fun? He's just well, he's just running in place. He's just trying to get a little exercise while I'm talking. Respectable. Did you hear that the sketchy lamp shop went out of business? Looks like a toad is interested in the space. I wonder what that guy has in mind. Oh. Whatever, man. Do what you want, Captain Toad. I mean, explore explorer toad. The hotel is going through a reorg, but I was able to keep my job. No one can pace like me. Welcome. I'm new here, and I don't have any idea what I'm doing yet. Um, come back when I'm trained? On-the-job on training is so stressful. I can, I, I can relate to that. The Sniffets really had some good ideas for this place while we were gone. Some incredibly weird ones, too. K 
Can't wait to see how this is all gonna play out. The new management won't do anything about the racket coming from next door. I like how the snippets aren't, like, bad. They, they were just like, oh, hey, this space is available. There's no one here. May as well take it. And now the toads are back, they're like, oh, okay. Can just, uh, share? Sure? We're gonna share? All right, cool. It's respectable. No tub for surfing. Oh, well, this is pretty fun. Still the same dialogue. He's still just jumping away. The springs on that bed are fucking ruined. Oh, well, this is still your room. Anything new for you? I heard- I hear the pool is kind of a crazy scene now that the hotel is under new management. That's it? Alright. Well, that was fun to look through. Not too much different, but... I think there was enough here. Oh, maybe there's something upstairs? I doubt it, but it's worth- oh, there's a couple toads, okay. The eyes follow me everywhere I go, so I'm never going anywhere again. Holy shit. <laughs> I'm so glad all of the poor toads got their faces back. Now we can talk to all of them. I thought I had. Unless this is all just bonus stuff and I can leave the explorer here. No. We're done with that, please. Yeah, I think that's all Olivia's gonna say. Maybe there's some people in here? Like, I'm wondering if this is all just bonus material stuff, or I have something to do here. But I don't mind. That's nice. Oh, just a little bit. A little bit something here. Feels like I'm never gonna get this place clean. I just wanna party at the pool like everyone else. Ah, Mario. Welcome to the Royal, uh, uh Sniff Shroom Hotel? Uh, no, no, that's not it. We're still working on the name n now that we're sharing. I heard that smart guy Toad with the fancy head is staying at the hotel here. Ah, oh, pardon me. That toad with the weird hat is supposedly some big shot professor. I don't really see it. Ah, pardon me. Ah, I should have just tried digging even though I couldn't read the sign. Oh, that's from before. Did I go into here? No. The snoring is actually a huge upgrade for my last roommate. <sighs> oh. Yeah, I think that's just about the whole place. You'll have to use boot. You have to use the boots on your feet to get around this town, Mario. No vehicles allowed. Looking for scorching sandpaper far west? It's uh farther west. 
Looking for Scorching Sandpaper Far East? It's, uh, farther east. Wow. Alright. Time to leave. It's time to go. Let's head back to Toad Town so we can set sail on the great scene, follow the purple streamer. Alright, so we're just we're just gonna leave the professor here then. I'm fine with that. It's better than him going out the same way our, our last partner did. <laughs> Not again. Not again. <laughs> You know, speaking of how Bobby went out last... How Bobby went out and... That... I heard... It reminds me of... Uh, someone... I saw someone talking about that moment, specifically, along with... A couple of gripes they have with the game. Uh, one of which being... That this game has some inconsistent... That it, it's kind of hard... It was the... I'm saying this weirdly, but I'm going to try to get it across. They said it was hard for them to really get into the game because the game's writing was inconsistent with previous entries. And I I remember specifically they uh, brought up how Bobby died. Spoilers. <laughs> spoiler. It already fucking happened. <laughs> why, am I, why am I trying to put a spoiler running up for that? But how uh, Bobby blew up, and he just kind of died from that, whereas in previous games, bob -omb partners could just do that at will, like Bobbery or Bombette. And yeah, fair, but then there's also like the bob the regular bob -omb enemies, which Bobby's more like in those games where they just kind of blow up and that's it. And granted, you could say that's gameplay, but also what's to distinguish that from what's going on with Bobbery and... Also, those are kind of previous games, and I feel like they're trying to more move away from that. Like, ever since Sicker Star, it feels like a very different continuity, even though they kind of try to keep the same continuity. And I think that's a legitimate problem with the, the newer Paper Mario games, where it's like, it's still part of the same series, and they're still trying to keep it in the same... They're still trying to keep it in the same vibe or whatever, but it's also very much its own thing and that's why it doesn't really bug me too much with this game because i can it very much is so its own thing i really don't see it as part of the older games and i feel like some of the inconsistent writing with how characters or enemies are with the earlier games it kind of was there to begin with, also kind of not. I feel like it's less them trying to keep a continuity and more just trying to make a better standalone experience. I, I get how some people could have gripes with that, but for me, it really has not affected my enjoyment of this game. Visit the Sensor Lab on Picnic Road to try their latest gizmo. The Hidden Block Unhider. Well, it's a good thing I didn't get that <laughs> that last accessory. I could have sworn there's another item I could get here. I think I've seen another playthrough or two where there is another item, but I haven't gotten it yet. I'm not wanting to gossip, but there's some guy living on the pier right now. I might want to check that out. Also, and actually, another thing with, say, consistency throughout the games, there's, like, throughout the series, three different variations of Toad Town. There's a lot of similar locations, or, like, this is all the Mushroom Kingdom. And to be fair, a Thousand Year Door and Super weren't actually in the Mushroom Kingdom. Alright. But it's not... It's fine. Like, it goes through some changes, but it's the same thing. So, again, I feel like with this game, they're not trying to... 
they're trying to do their own thing, but they're also trying to hold on to some of the earlier things. It's a weird balance, and I kind of wish they would just make it its own thing, but... And I feel like that's what they're going more for, so I, I, it doesn't bother me too much. I'm gonna, I'm gonna get off that. The number of hearts that elude you is one. Oh, shit. Yes, give me. A circle of rocks. Scorching sandpaper desert. Dig in the center. Farewell for now. I bid adieu. Perhaps one day, we'll meet anew. And on that day, you might just find another hint to blow your mind. Alright, we're, well, we're going back. Because I want as much health as I can get. All right, Professor. We have a quick mission to do. I need you to find a circle of rocks. Is that Toto right? Thank you. As a show of gratitude, I'll point you... Uh, he's he's uh, still... He's <laughs> He didn't get changed. And yet, there's still a Koopa here for some reason. Oh, good. Yes. Yes. I'll leave him be. But then again, he might have an item I want. Oh. Alright, you son of a bitch. Let's go. That has, it has to give me something, but I'm not dedicated enough to try and go for it. All right, circle of rocks. Circle of rocks. Rock circle. Geological geography. Or geological geometry. Shapes. Nothing here. Hold on. See that? You see that? Box moving? That's for you, Toad. You're gonna deal with that now. It's weird how there are still enemies around here. You'd think they would have been taken care of, but no. Or maybe it's because I haven't done something yet. Who knows? Oh, here it is. Dig. Shriveled max apart. Can it be restored? <gasps> I know where to use that. Which means we're going to have to do even more backtracking. Oh, boy. All right. I'll leave you alone here in the desert where you, <laughs> where you seem to like just standing there for all of eternity, probably. I guess to go a little further with the the inconsistency of Paper Mario games, just in general, really. Um, it, I do think it is unfortunate how 
different the series has become, because really, I do love those first two games. And I love aspects of Super. Uh, not, not every part of that game. In fact, if... I will say, if this game keeps up with the quality and enjoyment level I've had with it, I think I'll like it more than that game. <laughs> Which I never thought I'd say. Gonna go back to the spring so I can get this heart. Shouldn't take too long. And really, I don't mind if a series changes. E even if I like a style more, if the games are good, I don't think it's much of a problem. That's not what... And for the most part, I don't feel like that's what this was. I, I or The series was for a while, because I did not like Sticker Star. Again, I liked aspects of it, but not enough to make me enjoy the whole thing, really. Like, it looked good for a 3DS game. It sounded good. The soundtrack was still pretty good, but... It was just not very fun to play. And it felt like it lacked a lot of identity. Color Splash was a step in the right direction, but I think the gameplay was even more boring. Like, actually, I, t I was talking about it around when we were doing this area. Funny. Wait a minute. Oh, shit. Well, I'll, I'll, I'll get this when I come back. There's actually stuff to do coming back here. That's impressive. <laughs> and uh, so Color Splash was a step in the right direction, but again, the gameplay I felt was still drab. It was getting better though, but the gameplay was really preventing me from fully enjoying that game. And I still haven't gone past the first world, although I'd like to, because there's a lot I'd like to experience with that game, really. And that's why I've been really enjoying this game, because I feel like they're still improving on all the things they have been. And the gameplay is enjoyable. And when it comes to a game like this, for being different, I don't think it's a bad thing, because it's still... I've still been really liking it. Like, if we went from Super to this, I'd still prefer if we had the game... if we still had styled games like the first two, but I wouldn't really have any negative opinions about the series. But unfortunately, that's not where we are. And granted, when I say negative negative uh, opinions, I'm not, like, too sour about it anymore. Hang on. Please tell, please tell me this is plus 20. Plus 5. All that for 5 extra hit points. At the very least, it's a satisfying number now. Not even a power boost. Okay. Alright. There's still enemies here. That's weird. I think I'm still missing Toads here. Actually. Toads rescued 83. Oh, shit. In Toad Town whispering. Yeah, I'm missing a couple. Actually, missing a fair amount of toads, just generally. Oh well. Maybe I'll do a big rounding up stream. Or in my own time. But I'm not really sour about what's happened with the series or anything, because really... I've had my time being better and... Angry about it, and it's just not worth it. I've been like that with a number of series or things in media, and it's just not worth being that bitter over. It's better to just enjoy the things you like, and... Granted, that doesn't mean you sh Here, let me get on my soapbox. And granted, that doesn't mean you shouldn't... It's wrong to express disappointment or frustration with things. I think that's important, too. And I, I do sometimes when I feel like it's warranted, but... Lingering too long on that, I feel like, is unhealthy and just not a good idea. If anything, that's why I tend to not look at social media that much anymore. Especially Twitter, because there's a lot of that on there. Where really... 
a lot of the problems people talk about really shouldn't be talked about as much or just shouldn't i shouldn't i feel like is not as big of a deal as as many people talking about it and berating things as it is not that they shouldn't be but for as long as they do it can be a problem I'm on the barbecue. Yes, finally, I'm on fire. This isn't gonna give me anything, is it? Hmm. Should we try cooking something here? Oh. What? Oh wow. Oh, we're gonna have to come back to this. Oh shit. I don't think you want to try cooking that on a barbecue. Why not? Oh what? It's. You think it's too dry? I don't think it's dry enough. If I can't taste the charcoal in every bite, what is the point? I don't know why campfires are so appealing to me. Maybe because they're kind of dangerous and wild? I try to get the same thrill from cliff diving, but I just, like, wafted down, you know? Well, this probably means we'll be coming back here. Also, because I went to the healing spring, you might have thought that... Where is it? You might have thought that I would have revived the faded fire flower and shriveled mushroom. No, they're staying with us for the whole game. Howd. Yeehaw. Yeehaw. Oh, well, now let me tell you. Let me tell you. I do enjoy me some video games. Right here, let me tell you. Anything new? I'm assuming I'm assuming it's just going to be the hidden block thing. Yeah. Oh, gold time plus. Ooh, wait, wait, wait a minute. I need that. I will spend my life savings on that. Gives you a ton of extra time to arrange enemies in battle. Yes, please. And you know, the, the sad thing is... Yes, Olivia, thank you. But maybe the docks will lead us to this great sea place. With great in the name, it's got a lot to live up to. You're damn right about that. No, I'm trying to open the menu and pressing X. There we go. I mean, with spending 9,999 coins, I'm not sure how much that's going to save me in relation to just buying more time in battle. But... It, I'm also paying for peace of mind during battles, I guess. Mostly. I'm still going to be spending money, aren't I? Oh, yeah, no, we're done. Okay, we can we can just go to the Great Sea now. Cool. I spent so long doing extra stuff, I was I was questioning what to actually do next. I really like how Toad Town keeps coming together. It was so desolate and deterred, deteriorated when we originally got here and now it's all- it, it, then it was like quiet, there's some life, but it's still pretty quiet and empty. And now it's full of life and just happy, just nice. Like it should be. <laughs> Please stop talking to Olivia. I need a boat. 
to the great sea. Shall we set motor for the great sea? Uh, uh. Wow! The Great Sea is so big! This brace feels so good! Why does it smell so salty? It's so endlessly big! The only word you could use to describe it is... Epic. Well, that and great, I guess. Oh, look! There's the purple streamer. What's it doing out here in the Great Sea? Looks like it stretches out really far. The Great Sea is huge. We better stick close to the streamer so we don't lose track of it. No. I will explore and you will like it. So last time there was no music here and there is still no music here. We still don't have these options, what the fuck? That's so weird. There's also no sound options I found out. Maybe that's one of the missing options, and you have to find an item for it, like in Pokemon Sword and Shield. I hope that's not the case, because I really don't like that. Yes! Let's add basic settings to something you have to collect in-game. Sound setting. I mean, to get Sword and Shield credit, it happens very early at the, in the game, but... At least, and at least it has it, as opposed to this game. No. The open sea is fine, and the breeze and everything. But you're telling me you have a location called the Great Sea and you don't have music? I think I know why this is the case. Because when you hear the Great Sea, this is what you think. Like, it's obvious. They were like, all right, we're gonna name this Great Sea. We can't really think of anything. Uh. Fuck, we already had there's already a place called the Great Sea. Just don't put in any music. There's already a perfect song for it. I like how we went from one bigger area with the desert to another. Oh, there's a bunch of toads over here. Those are not toads, those are fish. But they have to be here for a reason. They're circling around. Nope, it's just a fight. Oh, ooh! Listen to this song. Oh, this is a jam. <coughs> Excuse me. This is a happy- this is a really nice, jaunty little tune. I, I like this a lot. This is such a pleasant game. Oh. Uh. Is be I should probably mention, because I didn't mention this before when I was talking about, like... Talking about the state of the series, or whatever. Inco the in inconsistencies and all that. I should also mention that... Take it with a grain of salt, because I could just be talking out my ass. I feel like I should have that at the end of everything I say. Where I try to be semi-serious. Because keep in mind, I'm not the brightest individual. I guess they were just fish. All right. I'm guessing there's something I'm going to need that can attach to a ship. Like say, um, an arm or something. Ooh, fog. I see. 
You know, there was fog in Windmaker. If you went off the map, it didn't just wrap around or anything. You just get enveloped in fog and you'd go back to the main area. Maybe that's what's going on. To an extent. And there's the Princess Peach. Still an awful name for that ship. Oh, shit. Okay, I got this. One. Two. Three. I mean, seriously, watch this. Look at how I throw a hammer. Look at how I whack them with my greats and not excellence like I should. You shouldn't trust me. I'm not gamer enough to be trusted. Or maybe not being gamer enough is why you should trust me. I'm wondering what I need to do. I think I just need to follow the streamer, but like, gotta be a little bit of something to do. There's an island in the sea where you can battle giants. It's true. If you're itching to fight some big old brutes, just find the reef below here and head, uh, left. I'm not sure which way is which. Those giants hit me pretty hard. The reef below here. Wait, right here? Ah, there's an island out here. I knew there'd be something. Oh, he's probably referring to like paper, paper macho soldiers. Then this must be where we need to go. Scuffle Island. The place to be, and there's already a tombstone to greet us. Island of Combat. Scuffle Island. Battle awaits beyond this gate. Yeah, we'll be fine. Welcome, Warrior of the Waves. This island is home to seven super powerful paper macho enemies. If you manage to defeat them, you shall be rewarded with coins and mo more and more with each victory. However, if your HP drops to zero, it'll be game over. You'll lose the round and all your hard won coins. Use of mushrooms is forbidden. Consider your remaining HP carefully before continuing to the next round. Enough setup. The island demands combat. The first battle begins now. Well, this shouldn't be too bad. As long as I don't have to find, as long as I don't have to fight that red parago, the red paracoupa from the desert, because I cannot figure out how to defeat that guy. Don't run too far. He's calling it quits. Rodeo! Ro- oh. Oh. I got cocky. Continue battling. Excellent. The island is pleased. Bring out the next opponent. The shy guy. Poker faced Punisher. I mean, he does the same stuff, right? As just dodge in a line and attack. All right, well, he's a little faster. All right, fair enough, fair enough.
Has a little bit of extra sauce. Oh. If I'm fast enough, I think I could hit him once he... Yeah, because he stops glowing. Right. Done. On to number three. I'm gonna guess Koopa. Koopa. There is nothing in that- There was nothing in that shell. Where did you come from? The swift shelled soldier. Ooh, that's bad. Alright. One hit, I know how to deal with him. I say as I get hit again. It's just two straight lines I have to avoid. No big deal, and then he gets hit. What's so hard about learning that, Zeter? That he had to get twice to learn it. That he had to get hit twice to learn it. Oh, come on! <laughs> come on! Alright, fine, I'll back off a little. Alright, so I can only get hit uh, two more times. That upsets me, because that was the third fight. This will be a boo? The ghostly Goliath. I'm actually sure I learned how to beat these guys. I see. Sort of a game of chicken style of fight. Oops. I didn't think he would- I, I didn't think he would be going so fast. I was not prepared. Oh, plus 50, hell yeah. Like, why would I not- why would I not just keep going? There's no reason I shouldn't keep going. They're not that hard. For fuck's sake. Not you. I don't know how to take these guys out. I don't know. I know how to dodge them. Maybe I need to have them hit a wall? I could also just need to be really fast. I, I don't, I don't know. And I can't use the lamination suit or anything. Maybe confetti, no? Wait for them to fall down? I don't know how to take them out. And Olivia's not giving me heads for some reason. I'm dead. I'm dead. I'm dead. Oh, that's just a dead ass game over. I see. 
I figured it'd be like, oh no, you're just gonna lose all your coins that you gained. No, you just die. Well, I don't know how to defeat those guys, so we're gonna ignore that for now. Good save point. <laughs> I'm not getting on that fucking island. Hell no. It's dangerous there. Well, back to the Great Sea. Let's see what we can do. I'd be I'd be fine if I just knew how to take out that red Koopa. But unfortunately, it is a mystery to me. Maybe I still need something. Hey, what's going on? I guess in the meantime, I really there's not much to explore, so I'll just go to the purple streamer. This is a very nice looking game, yeah. Fish? Fish? No? Okay. Mario, look! The streamer dips into the sea! How are we supposed to follow it down there? I mean... Yeah, good question. I don't know. Whoa, a vest. I'm not sure if it's a wire level. This fog is unbelievable. I can't see through it at all. We just get lost in that mess. Better turn back before we get ourselves in trouble. Ah, what a pain in the port bow. Wish we had a sea chart. Then we can navigate through this haze. Sea chart, that's in Rune Maker too. Say, speaking of sea charts, you two ever hear the legend of the legendary Captain Ode? Wait a minute. Legends speak of a legendary toad who moved beneath the waves and owned a legendary sea chart. Ah, but those are just tall tales. Not much truth behind them, I reckon. If only they were true. A sea chart like that might help us cut right through this blasted fog. Do you mean Captain T. Ode? We know that guy. He said he'd be at the musée, and I forgot. <laughs> ah, you jokers. That might be the most ridiculous fib I've ever heard. You met a legendary captain from ancient times, and he's just hanging out in a dusty old museum? <laughs> You're serious? Well, what are we waiting for? Let's head straight for that museum. Onward. Yes, I somehow forgot that completely from last from the last time I streamed this. I'm like, oh yeah, he's in the he's in the museum. I d I'll definitely remember that. He'll just be like at the boat. Nope. Oh, and then there's this guy. Didn't see him yet. This fog is incredible, eh? Can't move forward if you don't know which way you're going. I read that off a twist. <laughs> I read that off a twist off cap once. That bottle of juice was so wise. The dopey, fun-loving spike. I also forgot to go back to the lab to get that new uh, hidden block detector, so I'll make sure to do that first, too. Oh, the streamer even dips down a little there. I really don't know why that doesn't have any music. Maybe they wanted a little bit of an ambience thing. Or maybe they'll add music once we get Captain Teo'd. That's probably what's gonna happen. I spent a little bit of time with the Windmaker Great Sea theme. Alright, so I'll be sure to go and get Captain Teo'd quick, but let me go get that laminate, I mean the hidden block detector. I really wish this speed effect lasted longer than Toad Town. 
still nice when it's there. Oh wait, I still have the boot whistle. Your whistle went unanswered. Speed, McQueen. Alright, what you got for me? At long last, my opus is complete. My work has reached its zenith. My hidden block on Hyder will turn nearby hidden blocks into regular unhidden blocks. We've taken this paradigm and hurt We've taken this paradigm and hurdled it into the Lake of Progress. Be gone, paradigm! Hop down that pipe and I'll give you a quick primer on how to work the hidden block on Hyder. Again, this is making me really glad I didn't buy the hidden block detector from the last shop, the last accessory shop I was at. Are you ready to learn the secrets of the hidden block on Hyder, Mario? The device on your head looks familiar, does it, doesn't it? The hidden block on Hyder shares its design with the Toad Radar, and it's similar to Operate. The device will alert you if and when you're facing a hidden block. Oh, that, that is some intense vibration there. As you get closer, it will give you stronger and stronger reactions. Try jumping right there, Mario. Aha! A hidden block has appeared. Welcome to the visible world, you slippery cube, you. When you know you're close, a simple jump or swing of the hammer will, should do the trick. Like our other devices, the battery is going to run out sooner or later. Just keep an eye on the meter. Okay, let's hunt for some blocks. Find the hidden blocks before the battery runs out. Looks like we got two. I mean, they kind of spelled it out for me, but it felt like there were a couple more. It felt like it was in a different spot. It's gonna be in the middle of the circle, I can feel it. It's going crazy right here, but there's no- oh, wait a minute. Duh. I forgot. I forgot there's just regular hit blocks to it. I do really like the vibration in this game. They, they make a decent use of HD rumble. That's something I wish a lot more people used, because I really do like more advanced levels of vibration or rumble in games. I mean, that being said, I, I know that some levels of vibration they're just not going to be able to reach because it's Joy-Cons and it's the vibrations they have on there. Like, they're not going to be able to do this kind of stuff or have the same kind of feeling they would like with a classic PS1 controller. Because when I think of intense vibration, I think of, like, Crash 3 Warped, and when you're on the jet ski. Because that, that, that just... That is a type of therapy. That is a type of physical therapy when you... <laughs> the rumble works in that game. Incredible job, Mario. There isn't a block in the world that can't... that can outwit you now. We have shifted every existing paradigm. A new era of superior sensory apparatus is dawning. You know what to do, Mario. Take this hidden block on Hyder with you. Find every question block out there. 
Most importantly, if it explodes, do not tell anyone. I've already sent some rather boastful faxes. My work is finally complete. So, now what? I guess I could find a new hobby? Maybe I'll learn how to fold origami. <laughs> you madman, don't go for it. Become the origami folding expert you've always wanted to be. Why not? I mean, what else are you gonna do? Get into video games? How did I miss this toad? Ah, I was flying. Now I'm just flapping. There's another? Where? Oh, I had to fill the hole! Imagine all of the toads and everything I missed from not filling the holes. I don't regret it. I hope you weren't expecting a treasure map or a scroll filled with ancient secrets. I mean, if anything, waiting till this point is probably better if I wanted to actually go for 100% just because I have more confetti to use. I have a bigger amount to hold. Alright, so let's go ahead and get the captain. You know, going back to vibration a little bit. And rumble. I am just glad that wireless controllers are a lot better at handling it. As opposed to, say, during the GameCube era when the Wavebird, as great as a controller the Wavebird is, you know, when you don't need precise inputs, like, oh, I, I cannot play Smash with that, but otherwise, it's a really nice and really comfortable controller. But that doesn't have any rumble, or if it does, I it, it hasn't been working for me. The Musée, yeah, yeah. I know I had to look through the museum earlier, so I'm surprised I didn't... Oh, I had to go through the sea stuff anyway. Huh? I thought Captain T. Ode would be here to greet us. Captain T. Ode? You mean Captain T. Ode? He's... he's not real, you know. It's all just an ancient legend. Quite colorful, to be sure, but imaginary. Hark! Hey! The sign says no piloting the Marino. You're in direct violation of the sign. Ah, my precious Marino. Still beautiful. Still formidable. And yet, time marches on. Hey, we were just talking about you. So did you find the, uh, thingy you were looking for? The sea chart. That's what it was called. Oh, I hope you have it. What is lost may never be found. All that remains is a shattered reflection. Like a teardrop in a pond. But yes. I have the sea chart. I propose a trade. Convey me my vessel to the great sea and you shall have my chart. Sorry I'm late, but I think I heard everything while I was in running, while I was running in. You want to get that rig to the great sea? I'm your toad. Oh, this is going to be so cool. Um, a submarine on a boat, two famous captains. I can't wait. What about my exhibit? It's the star attraction. I can't curate something else out of thin air. Tough. Easy, keep her coming. Alrighty, you, sh you should be good to go out here. You decide you want to rig up a few more outboats, give that vessel some real oomph, you call me. You have my gratitude. And you may now have this. Looks like a tic-tac-toe board. <laughs> Yay! Thank you so much! I can't wait to adventure on the sea. Who knows what kind of amazing things we'll see. 
Oh, has anyone ever rhymed those two words before? I didn't even, I wasn't even aware that there was a rhyme. I must say, this whole situation with Captain Teod with being real is what me in the museum business call completely bananas. That said, there is no disputing the ancient texts. The Merino is yours, Captain. I wish you good luck and toad speed. And if you should choose to return to my humble museum at any time in the future, I will gladly offer you a personal tour. Farewell. Well, this is just, this is gonna be super. I'm just so excited that you all have called me on. I'm just so excited that you have all called me on me and my boat to help. And I can't wait to see what that submarine can do. Going under the water? What will they think of next? Flammable water? Oh, uh, maybe. Who, who am I kidding? Anyway, I'm ready when you are. Let us make post haste. Are we gonna get music? Are we gonna get actual music? Press L to view my C chart. It's almost Wind Waker. It's just missing an extra row and column. The red boat marks your current position. Check my C chart as you go to keep from getting lost. It's mostly blank right now, but I'll add any new islands we discover along the way. I've already mapped one island on the sea. Menacing. Skull shaped. I named it Bonehead Island. Bonehead Island is said to hide a secret tied to the fog surrounding the Great Sea. Let's start there. Press down to dive in the submarine. If you dive in a suspicious spot, there's no telling what you'll find. Set a course for Bonehead Island. Make it thusly. I know I keep making the Wind Waker comparisons, but really, there, there is... It is very similar. There's a lot of things. Also, there we go. I'll just go ahead and go back to this island just so we can get it on the map. A square island. Curious. What mysteries await us there, I wonder? Da, 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 da. Well, it's nice. At least we can map things on our chart without having to use bait. That's really nice. Never one of my favorite aspects about Windmaker. Oh, and now we can dive here where all the fish are. See if there's anything. Oh, yeah, in the, the boat. Ah, so that's the vessel known as the Princess Peach. How subtle. That's one word for it. All right, so let's dive here and see if there's anything to do. Ah, fortune smiles on us. Oh, so it's just like a treasure diving mechanic. It's like the treasure arm. So, okay, the... Oh, wait, can I even get to the Bone Island? It's probably gonna be like right at the edge of where we can go. If at all. No, there, there's no way I'm going to be able to get there. But you never know until you try. We're going in head first, ramming speed into the fog. We have it mapped. We just need to go into a straight line and we'll be fine.
Fear not. My sea chart shall guide us. I'm surprised this is actually working. They're actually letting us drive around in the fog. Amazing. And not with any sort of story reason, like in Phantom Hourglass. Whoa, a creepy skull. Bonehead Island. My kind of place. Oh, sure is creepy. Is it just me, or is that big, ugly skull face staring at us? Don't surrender to fear. You must explore this island. Secrets await, and I want to hear what they are. This is a good crew. Got a got a helpful little Captain Toad and the coolest motherfucking Toad I've ever seen. It's just Mario and Livia. If only, if only <laughs> the original lad we had helping us on the seas were here. Any new accessories? Coin step counter. Walk 10,000 steps with this and you'll be rewarded. I mean... That's cool, but... I... If it's just a cash bonus, do I really need it? Yes, I do. So once I get enough coins, I'm definitely buying it. Another cafe. At least I'm hoping it is. Yeah, two in one, two in one stream. Let's go. Oh. Welcome. Come on in. Oh, thanks. I'm out. Nah, I'm, I, I, I should. I should. It's a business. There's no... It, they're, they'll be fine. It's fine. Perfectly safe place. They're chill. Welcome to the Bone Dry Cafe. What's your order? Ah, oh, fuck yeah, bone. What problem is, Mario? You know, like spoon? You want borrow mine? Coffee here, big tasty. Sir, please don't chew iron our spoons. Other people need them. Hey, is that other dry bones okay? He's been collapsed for an hour. The coffee I made it must be ice cold by now. Hey, cut him break, pal. Him up all night, prowling. He big, big exhausted. The night shift? That's rough. Let him rest. I'll pour him a fresh cup when he wakes. See? It's all nice around here. I had nothing to be afraid of. Just a couple of dudes relaxing after a hard day's work. Mmm, my dry rest smell. Owner here was big time prowling champ back in old days. He not like tooting own horn about it though. Crows, more crows. Crows, crows, and more crows. Raise them up. No. Yeah, I forgot I could do that. You can just take out enemies who are weaker than you, like that. Ah, yes. Bone puzzles. I'll get this for sure. Now that we've explored one ear hole, it'd be crazy for us to not crawl into the other one, right? Well, it depends. Does it have any sort of infection? Is there more earwax? Is it more closed off? 
Ear holes aren't necessarily symmetrical. I know that firsthand. It's not pleasant. Toad. You saved me! As thanks, let me show you where, you can, where to find a sunken treasure. I'd claim it, but I'm lazy. Dope. More reason than ever to find toads. Oh, well, you're not weak enough. Suddenly more intense music than the last place we were at. Man, the the, to the bleachers, the toads and the bleachers are really getting filled now. Like I mentioned this a few streams ago, but it's just so bustling. Hardly any empty seats. You'll love to see it. I really should be fighting more enemies just to get more coins so I can maybe get that uh bonus. Symmetrical with the other ear hole. As it should be. Oh, thank goodness. This is not... This is not spelling any sort of trouble. Everything's fine. Oh, the submarine Marino. Forehead. Cool. Another toad statue, like the one we saw at the temple. Odd. If you seek paradise, gather the three orbs on Diamond Island. Paradise? What in the world is the statue talking about? Pair of dice. Pair of dice. We were reading this. How do you get that mixed up? Unless you're hearing Mario say it. <gasps> you! The fan makes his great return from Sicker Star. <laughs> Hell yeah! Or from the Smash stage, if you want to say that. He really is one of the... One of the key characters of the past three Paper Mario games. I'm kind of here for it. Wow! The fog has totally vanished! That was amazing! Speak, and ye shall find. Come, follow me to paradise. Ooh, this sounds like fun! But, well... I guess we need to deal with the purple streamer first. Maybe we can do both. Why not both? Oh, you're here talking? Alright, that's cool. I'm lost at sea, see? Hate being stranded. Can't stand it. Been waiting for a rescue. From you! Well, we're leaving, so... You know, come along. Shall we ship out? No, he's just... Okay, he's staying. Alright. He's putting on a show. Yes! That awful fog is finally gone. Now we can explore the rest of this big ol' ocean. Aha! There's the streamer over there. Let's follow it, Mario. Honest to God music. Oh my God! No more Windmaker music. Open a new tab. A new engine for your boat. 
has been completed and is now available at the Toad Town Dock. And that's where we shall go first, and that's probably what I'll finish off with. It's beautiful. It's a fully realized overworld. That's what it's always meant to be, and hopefully we'll be able to go faster with this new engine. As this does drag a little bit. Let me down. All right. I feel like I was going to mention something back at the island, but I can't remember what it was. Just dropped off the face of my mind. Welcome to Toad's Automa Boats. This is the latest boat engine we've got is go we've got going is no joke. It's twice as fast, ten times as fun, and a million times more dangerous. Just how you like it. Am I right? True. Now then, I can swap out your old motor for 5,000 coins. Got a deal? Alright, fine, I won't get the step counter. I can get it when I leave, for the last streamer. Not like I'm really stepping a lot while I'm on a boat. Giddy up! That'll do her. That'll do her. Have fun out there and keep the dry side up. Mario, you've doubled the top speed of my vessel. I'm both excited and terrified of my newfound power. As you should be. What you, Captain? Captain Teod. A voyage of a thousand fathoms begins with the flooding of a single ballast tank. Alright. Well, that's good and all. And I'd like to see how that moves, but maybe we can do that next time. I'm gonna go ahead and save and stop things for now then. Again, game's not really slowing down. I mean, it is because we are we just finished a streamer and we're starting up a new one. So, of course things are going to slow down, but that's just a natural thing. It, it hasn't slowed down to a point where I'm being bored or not having a good time. I'm glad. I, 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 I'm serious. I think I'm saying this almost at the end of every stream with this game, but really it's just because I, I'm just so elated that I can say that. I'm really glad that this game is has been enjoyable as it has been. And so next time we play this, we'll be go ahead and we'll, blah, blah, we'll be going ahead and following the purple streamer and checking out more of the Great Sea with actual music now. And the next time we should stream it is with. Hyrule Warriors on Friday, and if you need to know exactly when we go live, although usually it is from, I start somewhere between noon to 1.30, if you need to know exactly when I go live, you can always follow the channel and turn on notifications, or follow my Twitter, where I post every time I go live. If you need to see any previous streams I've done, or games I've played, we have Zeter Streams 966 Mod, the YouTube archive channel where I host every previous stream I've done, and any other links you may need are also on the channel and the Twitch page. With all that said, Thank you for watching. I hope you had a great time watching, and I hope you have a great day as well.